Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me, let's play some more of our Holy Arumbian Empire as Carloman Carling the Great. We're 64, we're about to go on to Medicare. Uh, when we turn 65 in the year 815, yes, Medicare existed back then, trust me. The Holy Arumbian Empire was a sight to behold. Or something. So we're trying to murder the Queen of Lombardy, because I think that her land would be better in our control. It's the main reason. Let's see if we can catch any of these guys. I don't I don't know that we will, unless we want to raise up the troops manually. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that little trick there. Little trick. They just seem to really like coming into Holland. We have righteous imprisonment on a few people. How are we doing on like the briberies to, to get people to join the plot? We've got a mayor who'd be willing to join. Should automatically have been invited. Ooh, the uh, the spymaster could be bribed. Wow. That could make all the difference in the world. If he joins... Oh, yes, he will. Join us. Join us? He's joined us. 252% plot power. She's not long for this world, in this case. I have received word from my co-conspirator, the spymaster. I'm just curious, why is it that he doesn't like her? <laughs> uh, no, okay. His opinion of her. A female ruler, short reign. Her personal diplomacy is apparently crap. And she's craven. Oh yes, she is not diplomatic at all. Alright, let's see if we can get our grandson on the throne. A renewed jihad. Yeah, sure, of course. That happened in the year 815. I remember when the game first came out. And the jihads all happened like around the year 1090 or 10, 1070, somewhere on that area. Now they happen in the year six, like 800. Soon there's going to be an expansion that allows you to play from the year 500 to to 1453, and the jihads will happen in the year five, uh, 510. Jihads and crusades. They're just happening right away. Now you said you would join, but now you're. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. It's because you're in a rebellion. That's why. You're not actually in the court. How are your two wars going, woman? You are losing the crown, the war to lower crown authority, and you are winning the war to keep the throne. That's important. We want her to stay in power. We could send her some money so she could raise troops, like raise some mercenaries. Okay, looks like we've got a couple granddaughters that need to be re-educated. Find somebody that needs the opinion boost. Looks like Duke of Gascony could use them. That's pretty much the sole way that I determine how to educate daughters these days. It's just, who can we get the most opinion from? Our vassals will probably try to take care of that. Someone's trying to fabricate a claim on a, uh, a duchy? I think you'd actually like to go into prison then. That's something we could do. We haven't haven't really done much imprisonment. You are a direct vassal. You are my cousin, but you are not a direct vassal. Sorry, cousin. I need your money. You are actually not even my vassal, so this is fantastic. We can imprison a duke. And how much money are we going to get out of all this? Fair bit. That duke's got some, some bank. What do we need the money for? I don't know. Things. Also, somebody had commented that the reason why we couldn't give the kingdom to the boy is because his top holding is a tribe. It needs to be a castle for that to be possible. Which is a good catch. That makes sense. That's why this guy was eligible and this guy is not. It has nothing to do with culture, nothing to do with their religion. It's just you apparently can't have a kingdom with a tribe. Weaponsmith. We could spend our prestige to upgrade tribal holdings. Hmm. Our reputation's ruined. 
Are you telling me that my lover is going to know that I'm trying to murder her? Her opinion of me is still positive. <laughs> well, not positive. It's negative too, but it's, it's close. She's okay with it, you know. She'd still accept us if we were to pay her a visit. Okay, another grandson. This woman is quite resilient, though. She's got three wars now. Peasant revolt. She's still winning her war. Still losing her war. If you could just go ahead and die, and let me step in and take control of your country, that would be great. Any particular reason why you, uh, don't want to just give it up? Hmm? Hmm. Grandsons, I like to educate myself. Boys. You know, I feel like... I'm just gonna vent again. But... Making such a sweeping change to the way that legalism works, and making it so that legalism is required at level 7 until you can get maximum feudal levies. I mean, that is a, a massive, massive nerf to the amount of levy that anyone in the entire map is going to have until like the year 1300. I just, I, I don't know that, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But, whatever. Um, apparently we have some, some new laws. Vice, royal, vice royalty. Emperors can grant kingdoms or duchies to vassals as vice royalties. Such grants are not inherited, and will revert back to the emperor when the viceroy dies. A handy way of staying below your vassal limit. Okay. Enables kingdom vice royalties. At legalism 8. <laughs> what? <Do> you... <laughs> so you're saying from like the year 1400. So like for, for like 50 years, you can use this feature. Awesome. Awesome. Administration. Feudal or imperial. An empire can be run according to the feudal system or with an imperial administration of the Roman model. The latter, however, is not easily available and may require extensive reforms. A feudal society is a hierarchy of landed lords, where each person in the system owes fealty to those directly above and commands those directly below. That's normal, okay. The imperial administration. This system of administration is similar to that of the Roman Empire, with a hierarchy of magistrates and functionaries running daily business in the name of the emperor. It allows for a power structure that hands less power to permanently landed vassals. Effects. Implement duchy vice royalties. So apparently, if we have the law, absolute crown authority, and we have majesty at five, we can enact this, which will automatically give us this. But in order to even have absolute crown authority, we would need to have legalism at five. So it's possible to get duchies at legalism five. Interesting, I guess. I mean, I guess. No matter how discreet I have been with my lover. Alright. Um, sure, we could become humble. It'd be fine. If it happens. All of a sudden our plot power is significantly higher. And the reason for that is that he, she is no longer in charge. Somehow Romauld ended up winning. So our war ended inconclusively. And that's fine. Still, she, um, she's got a strong claim on the Kingdom of Lombardy, which will be inherited by her successor. So we still want her dead. There are plenty of people that will help us out. Where is she, anyway? She's at court in Troyes. She's in our court now. 
My grandson, Andreas, lacks all passion and ambition, perfectly content with his lot in life. You are the... No. No. I don't want any of my kids to be that way. Bruno Carling. Such a lovely name. We'll work on him. I'm surprised she lost that war. How did that happen? She was at like positive 70%. Thank you for donating money to the coffers of the Empire. Hmm. We got a princess of France in prison. Who who are you and why are you here? You are the daughter of my king vassal. Are you upset with me for having your wife and your your daughter imprisoned? I feel like you should. There should be an opinion penalty for having your children or close relatives imprisoned. I mean, sh I mean, surely it would cause strain on a relationship if I had your kids in jail. Would it? This might... Uh, yeah. It's not really the right place for it, but... I just have to say, in my opinion, unless Paradox gets a few more people on their CK2 development team, um, we're not going to see any more good expansions for CK2. This game's not going to get any better. You want to marry my bastard? No. Nope. She's just going to stay here. Hoping for a man and never getting one. Because she's a bastard. There's been a lot of complaints on the forums about... About this expansion, this DLC. Saying that it's not polished and that it's buggy. Apparently there are issues with republics, there are issues with playing as the the new f uh, tribes thing. I haven't seen the issues yet, but of course we're playing as Carla Man. Carling, our wife is dead. And for once, it, it's not my fault. I, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. I have a genius. She holds claims to titles. I always try to spit out a genius, just so we have some some better DNA in our family. She's a bit young, though. We're 66, we might not even live long enough to, to make the marriage happen. Well, let's use the search feature here. This is so handy. Um, strong. No strong women. Genius. Okay, is this not working? No, it doesn't it doesn't even work. Am I supposed to search by name? Look at this. E U P H E M I A. E U P H What gives? What exactly am I supposed to be able to search for here? God damn it. Here I was thinking, oh, hey, look at this. It's so amazing. You got the search feature. Does this one still work? Yes, it does. So how does this one work and the other one doesn't work? I would love to know. E-U-P-H. There she is. Just like that. God damn it. Stupid paradox. I mean, that really is disappointing. <sighs> Attractive 38-year-old. Attractive is not really something I'm that... That interested. Let's sort by Marshall. See if we can find someone who's got... There we go. 22-year-old 22, 22 genius. We'll lose some prestige. Who cares? It doesn't matter. We've got 9,300. She wants to become Spymaster. She is quite good. And she would make an excellent Spymaster, but it would be a, an overall detriment to our our state intrigue value if we were to do that. Amazingly, this woman has not died yet. I'm going to cancel it and restart it because I think that we still have plot power from people that joined it earlier who are not actually eligible. I don't know. According to this thing, we can get 900% plot power. But not really. 
the peasant revolt. I'm gonna take care of that with the retinue. Let me guess you wanna make my bastard? Nope. She's mine. There we go, now the plot fired right away. When in doubt, turn it off and back on again. Success! She's dead. What a shame. Now, her boys have weak claims in the kingdom of Lombardy. So now we just need to get somebody either in a regency or we need him to catch our plot so that he goes into hiding. Come close friends with the boy. That's a little bit concerning. Well, he's he's our grandson, so I guess it's okay. It's just a, it's just it's a completely normal, healthy grandson to grandfather friendship. It's not the kind you're thinking of. New important decisions are available. So what do we want to do next? Just lost our marshal. I think we'll pump up majesty as the primary. Maybe we'll do some legalism. But legalism doesn't even do much. Tolerance. No, I think it makes sense to save up our points so we can actually get ahead of time in something. Let's see. Do we care about our mayor's opinion? Yeah, he'd, he'd probably be more important than the others. Since he is our mayor. Cannot get very much plot power. Your spy master loves that guy. Really all we can do is hope that hope that he gets goes into hiding or something. I wonder, could our bastard prove useful? We should try something, just for fun. What if we murder this guy's wife? Much easier to kill her. And then we offer up our... Oh man, he would even join. That's funny. Hey, our new wife is pregnant, okay. I'm going to take a break here. Um, we're going to see if we can somehow maybe use our bastard to our advantage. But I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.